Hi everyone. Um, only four minutes late. That's not too bad, right? Hey, at least I got it started on time. But then I realized that if I just leave it playing, the music's gonna be a little wonky because it's gonna do like go back and do the intro a bunch of times. But, you know, it's all good, right? All right, let's full screen this. <laughs> You know, if somebody has a way to make um, Streamlab Ops um, projectors stay always on top, let me know. It's it's a feature that's in regular mainline Ops and not in um, in the Streamlabs version for whatever reason, and it's a royal pain because I don't have a since the way I've got this set up right now, I've got the stream preview on my other monitor, which is actually another computer. But I don't have any local, um... Wow, words. I don't have any local projectors that I can see, because they don't stay always on top over the game. And since the game is in full screen, to get this glorious 1080p Banjo-Kazooie, that means I can't actually see things. I like how the developers admit the engine room is hard is so hard by actually putting it in the the game demos that uh, you should expect to fail at it. You know. Hi there. Sorry for the random rant. <laughs> All right, let's see. I still <laughs> there's still four notes I didn't go back for. I might do it this time. I don't know. We'll see how Click Clock Wood goes. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's where I'm at right now. The last stream was just Rusty Bucket Bay, but that was kind of a tacked on thing after finishing my nightmarish Metroid Fusion or AM2R Fusion Mode randomized run. That's a mouthful. Um, so Click Clockwood's going to take a little longer than Rusty Bucket Bay, just because of the annoyance of having to visit all four seasons. But I should still have plenty of time after it, so I'll either go back and get those four notes, or maybe just ignore them and continue on through um, the game show bit, because that bit's always fun. And, you know, that's the wrong way. Great. Well, I guess we can walk this bit. Yeah, I wanted the second cauldron, not the first one. Problem when you're kind of like clearing everything, just, um, you know, on one trip through every level. You don't actually remember how to get around the castle. And I should remember because, you know, I've been through it so many times, but like... You know, I don't really need to use this. I should probably save those. Probably should. But this is just fun. There we go. Used up every single one. Smart. Um... This game's, like, a lot shorter than I remember it being. Like... I don't know. I don't know if that's just... I think it's part nostalgia and, like, part... I probably really sucked at it as a kid. But this is like... This is the fourth stream of it I've done. And they've all been pretty short. Um, but honestly, this should still be part of the third stream. I just, you know, didn't feel like doing more than Rusty Bucket Bay last time. So... Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really plan to go all the way toward beating it today, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, and see, that's what I get for using up all my feathers. Uh, why am I going down here? There's nothing under the water I can do right now. You have to do that cutscene every time. 
Like, I've played the game enough. Like, what is the point of that cutscene? The, uh... It's always the first one you kill. And these are effectively just reskinned versions of the... Oh, crap. That's nice. They're effectively just reskinned versions of the, like, Clanker's Cavern guys. Why is it special that they get, like, a... Ah, fine, I'll go around. They get a special animation for the first time you kill them, showing them just dropping through the level geometry because reasons. I don't know. I really kind of want to leave the honeycombs there, that way I remember which ones I've killed. They are kind of annoying, after all. You're just, you're just taunting me, huh? So I didn't save a feather. Crap. Alright. <laughs> Not off to a good start. If it wasn't apparent before now, this is in no way, shape, or form any sort of speedrun. I could do the bee stuff right away, but I think I have to actually open the beehive. Don't know. No, the bee, the bee entrance is clear. Hmm. Is there any reason not to do the bee stuff right away? Aha! Feather! I'm gonna fall. You know, I was so sure that this was gonna be steep, I just kind of expected I'd fall. I guess not. There's a mumbo token down there. <sighs> Alright, um... Flower seems like a good thing to start with. Boing. Um... Oh yeah. Don't you have to, like... Yeah, you have to... I don't know if it's implied that the eggs are the seeds. I guess everywhere else it's just water, so you're just watering the flower. And then, that's right, in summer, Gobi comes by, the camel from the desert level. And we get to ruin his day yet again. Alright, now let's try not failing at life. Or... Becoming the bee, one or the other. Hmm. Why is my timing on this so bad? Like, all of the other forms of those guys? The, the snake ones and the skeleton ones? Like, not a single one has hit me this entire game, more or less. And I'm gonna get hit by every single one of these birds because... I don't know. Apparently... Apparently I'm just that bad today. I don't know. You'd think all the late night streams would have been a lot worse, but... You know, as a kid, I actually, like, painstakingly jumped up these un these folded up leaves. You're supposed to wait till summer for them to be, like, actual platforms. But you can make it up if you, if you have enough determination. You can make it up them. It's just really dumb and you should never ever try it because they don't expect you to and so there's nothing there's no really there's no real reward for doing so on any uh, on on spring uh i guess on in winter too but winter's less of an issue because they just let you fly in winter no mm. Uh, you know what? Good job. I got hurt twice. I was actually trying to aim for the water. Not that that would make it better, but at least then maybe I wouldn't get hurt. I legit don't have an excuse this time. Like, I've had, with my last few Metroid runs, I've, I've had legitimate, like, controller issues and stuff. Uh, one time I had lag issue because I was dumb enough to try to play the game using my stream preview, which 
Um, well, that, that added a fair amount of lag, we'll say. Like, a stupid amount of lag. But this time, I'm just, I'm just outright failing. Painfully. I want that egg. Like, I don't have a whole lot. I never, I never bothered to go back and do the Cheeto codes. So, I just have the initial 50 eggs, 50 feathers, um, 10 gold feathers, the starting amounts. You know, I feel like all these mumbo tokens are put in really awkward places. So that they're supposed to give you a hard time until, um, until you unlock the bee, and then you should just fly around and get them. So, you know, no, come on. There we go. That's a little bit better, I think. For the first awkward jump. Um, I, I guess they just want you to, like, fly around and get them. Like, you know, okay, cool, I collected enough up till this point. I don't have to do that. Except I'm going out of my way for them anyway. Let's open up for summer. So fun fact, this, <laughs> the music for Click Clock Wood, um, which in my opinion is kind of like earwormy. Like, it's, there's nothing, oh, for, for one, actually before, before I get to that fun fact, uh, Nabnut here, that's, that's his actual name, Nabnut. His house has unique music. Nowhere else in the game does that. It all just has, like, an indoors theme for whatever the music of your current level is. And there's no platforms that way. Um, anyway, click clock. Thank <laughs> you. 
How's that? That seems to be working. That was really weird. Um, it, it wasn't muted. It was never muted. Has it, it hasn't been that way from the beginning, has it? Because it certainly, um, certainly looked like it was working when I started, but like the, the audio, uh, the, I don't know, the little audio line that shows kind of what sound it's picking up was just completely stuck at one point. Like, it just froze there, and I'm not sure what happened. It's the first time it's happened, and I really hope it doesn't... I really hope it doesn't become a thing, because, like, this was a cheaper mic, but I've had good luck with it so far, so I just had to, like, unplug it and plug it back in. Yeah, I really don't know. Thanks for pointing that out. Um, oh, there, there is something in here, but it's it's just an extra life up there, isn't it? Yep. Um, so yeah, it, the mic was just kind of frozen. And I have no idea why. Alright, where am I in relation to Mumbo? Don't really want to fall. Oh! Water's over here! <laughs> no! Oh well. Could've been worse. For the record, when it was muted, you know, or when it was not working, I asked, like, what, my mic is muted? What, you know, what, what's wrong with it? And then I'm like, because, you know, if it is, you're totally gonna hear that. Sometimes I'm smart. Of course, you know, I guess if it wasn't... <laughs> my hope was that it wasn't actually stuck, and then that would have made sense. I don't know. Either way. Is there... there's only really one thing to do as the bee, isn't there? There's the beehive. And... hmm. I mean, that's it, isn't there? Isn't it? Uh, there, I think there's like a platform way up high that might have a jiggy. Um... Well, that could only be in winter. It's such a weird transformation because it, it feels really wasted. You can only... Whoa. <laughs> you can only do it in spring. In summer, Mumbo's too hot. In winter, he's gone on vacation. And in fall, he's raking leaves. And there's not even a Jiggy here. There's just a Jinjo. Like, there's a Jiggy, but that that's for summer. Or fall, one or the other. Like, maybe one of the problems with this level is just it's hard to keep track of the different seasons and remember what you've done when? I don't know. Or maybe it is just a really long level. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't need an extra life. I just kind of bailed because I almost ran into the guy. Um, let's see. There's a window on your other door here, isn't there? Yeah. Can't do anything with that. And then there should be, I think, a really high up door that's higher up than before. Maybe I'm remembering wrong, though. Or maybe it's just a platform, or maybe I'm just imagining it. All are equally possible. 
Wait, am I not at the top? No, I am at the top. Hmm. Yeah, there it is. Hmm, back down. Back around. Come on. Alright, you know what? Let's just let's just walk to it. Because apparently apparently I can't fly in a straight line. Um Is that it for spring? That might be it for spring. I think one of the most annoying things about this level is if you miss a note anywhere, trying to go back and find it is just ridiculously annoying. Because you have the entire level to explore in four different seasons. And there's no telling which one you missed it in. And by saying that, I've probably already jinxed myself to be missing one. You can't even take the bee to, like, a different season. As soon as you walk in, you turn back. But I really didn't feel like going back to tran to untransform. I don't even know if I've done that this run. Yeah. Bird is hungry. Huh. Those guys have sunglasses. I feel like I should have noticed that before now. I don't know if I even ever realized they were dressed differently for the different seasons. I don't think they're even in winter. Oh, come on. I guess they're, uh, they're probably smart enough to stay indoors. Or maybe they move south. I don't know. It's been a really long winter in real life, though, so... Why does he go wee 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 when you uh when when he's just jumping for joy, but his voice is like mum, 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 mum. like that doesn't seem to match. Uh, I don't remember if there's anything at this far end. I'm gonna check anyway, just because if I don't, there will be. Like the fall button and a bird that I almost got cheap shotted by. Each and every one of these guys came back. I'm resisting the urge to collect every one of the red feathers because I do not need them in the slightest. But I'm still compelled to collect them for whatever reason. So yeah, these these leaves here, you can you can in fact climb up them in spring if you're really careful. There is absolutely no reason to. And I'm not sure I'm not sure if the reason why I did that one time was because I just didn't know what they were and that they unfolded or or what? But it's not smart either way. So have you ever played Banjo-Kazooie before? It's definitely... Definitely worth a play if you hadn't. 
but... Like, I really... Whoa. Oh, I did make it. There we go. I really want to assume that, you know, of course, everyone's just played Banjo-Kazooie, but... That's... that seems like it's probably becoming less and less true with time. There's a worm over there, right? No, there's Jiggy over there. Even better. Me too, it's... it's... I think it's... If it's not my favorite game of all time... Oh, oh that's gonna hurt. Hey you, get off the flight pad, I wanna go back up. Um, if it's not my favorite game of all time, it's pretty close. It's it's definitely my favorite, like, 3D platformer, but... Unfortunately, there's not really too many more candidates for that. Like... I mean, Tui's pretty good too, but... I actually haven't played Banjo-Tooie in a long time. Just because it's it's harder to emulate than well than Banjo Kazooie, but than a lot of games, and it's it's not even that it's like that hard to emulate. But I'm just a real like I just really I'm a real perfectionist about it, or not not really perfectionist, but like I don't know I can't think of the word I want, but like. If I'm gonna emulate it, I want it to be emulated, like, damn near perfectly. And that's not something that's easy to do. If I had an Xbox, I'd play the, uh... E either the, um... Xbox Live Arcade versions, or the Rare Replay versions. Because there are... There are modern ways to play it. I just... Punk. I just don't have much for game systems. So he's not- he hasn't gone away yet. I'm assuming that means I have to hit him again in fall. But then again, I keep forgetting, like, I thought he was gonna, like, leave the game three different times now. And he's still around. Because I, I remember how he says he's gonna go visit the lava world to get away from you. I, I didn't get that caterpillar, did I? Oh, wait, maybe I did. Yep, cool. Uh-huh. He says he's gonna go visit the lava world when he whenever he leaves for the final time. And of course there there isn't one. But then in Banjo Tooie, he's on the lava side of Hellfire Peaks. And like I realized that probably wasn't like a premeditated thing, it was just like a little Easter egg they thrown it they threw in. Um But I don't know, it's little little things like that that I really appreciate when games do. Those little, like, nods for those that are really paying attention. Alright, um, whoa! No, oh, I made it, okay, stop. The number of times that I fail miserably at platforming in any game just because, like, I overcorrect. Like, I am constantly, constantly doing that. I can make a jump perfectly, but if I think I'm even the slightest bit off, I just screw it up. I will land perfectly and then, like, twitch myself right off the edge, trying to, uh, correct. I don't have a whole lot of gold feathers right now. I used to just, like, do this as a kid. That's how I got through it. Come on. This is gonna be painful. 
There we go. They were getting bored of guarding it anyway, so it's okay. I don't know if I've ever actually tried to, uh, like, do that fight without any gold feathers. I'm sure it's possible. I don't think I've ever actually even been in a situation where I had to attack them at all. But, you know. That's what I get for being too lazy to go back and get more gold feathers. Okay, I did that already. And then I fell. No! I almost made it. So last time somebody was asking me what my favorite level was in Banjo-Kazooie. Actually, I think first they were asking me what my least favorite level was, and it was hands down um, Rusty Bucket Bay just for the engine room. Like the en that's that's why I did it. I did that level as its own stream, but. Surprisingly, I did the engine room in one try. Okay, feathers and nothing else in here. See ya. Um, I did the engine room. I did the engine room first because if I hadn't done it first, um, it just like it would have come back to bite me. But because I did it first, I didn't really have any trouble with it, which you know figures. But when I was thinking about it, like, like, don't I have enough? There you go. I really just, uh, I couldn't decide what my favorite level would be. Because I like the rest of the game pretty much on par. Like, I think Mumbo's Mountain, like, gets me, get, gets me hyped for the game that's to come. But then, like, it's not, not necessarily, like, anything good level-wise. Like, thunk. Um, so I don't know, like, I couldn't really, I couldn't really name one, and I, I, I swear every time I play it through, it just gets a little bit shorter. Like, the time I spend in every level is a little less. I spent way too much time in, uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp. Is there any reason to come up here? I feel like there's gotta be something in every season. Maybe not, though. Like, you know, a Jinjo or something, maybe? I don't really want an extra life. Okay, there's no reason to come in here. I don't know, like, the, the way the game makes me feel always, like... It always lives up to my expectation. Like, it's never... It's never like, oh, I remember this being better, you know, it hasn't aged well. No, I, it, it always, it always hits the same spot, it's just, it's just never, never long enough. And I should really replay Tui, because as I said, it's been, it's been a very long time. Oh. So I've, I've been trying to debate this entire run whether stomping at the end of a fall actually stops you from getting any falling damage, like, um, like, it actually reduces it at all. It doesn't get rid of it. Or whether that's just a Mario 64 tactic. And I can't really figure it out because... Like, any time that it would have... Damn it. Any time that it... it if it ever was doing something, I didn't know, because I didn't take falling damage. 
funny how that works. Yeah, Mumbo, you're too hot. Hey, at least he turned off his little torches, like... They had to think to do that. Oh, come on. Alright, I'll go for the small torch. Why am I... <laughs> there are so many extra Mumbo tokens in this game. They're effectively all extra at this point. Come to think of it, I think I might have missed one in spring. But, oh well. I kind of wish there was something that was tracked. Like, I don't know if that's just like... I don't know. Masochistic on some level to want there to be more collectibles. But they're there anyway, and... Like, I, I kind of want to know if I missed them. I kind of want to be able to go back for them. Something. I don't know. Hey, yellow Jinjo. Like, at least, you know... I guess they don't really matter, but... Hmm... At least then I, I'd know when I... when and where I missed them. Uh, wait, no, that is the right way. The button for spring threw me off. Yep, you're hungry again. I know. Shut up. I actually like. I, I really like the the dialogue in this game, and ah. Oh well. I really like the dialogue in this game, and um, you know the the writing in general. I'm not one of those people that like thinks. Either it's, um, either it's annoying or cheesy. I mean, it is kind of cheesy, but I like it anyway. The only reason I've been skipping over it is, I don't know, just because I felt like wading through every single text bubble on a stream would get a little bit annoying. And I really didn't feel like reading Gruntilda's rhymes. If I was gonna, like, read them aloud or something. Plus, uh, reading them aloud just feels... Okay. Are we stuck? Can we not be stuck? There we go. What the heck? That was weird. Okay. There's no reason that leaves should slow this down at all. Computer, what are you doing? Well, at least there's water. Okay, then. This is, uh, this is new. I mean, you know. Rusty Bucket Bay had weird, um, graphics exceptions. I had to turn off- whoa! Oh, man. I had to turn off texture scaling. Or texture smoothing or texture filtering, whatever. I had to turn off texture filtering to get it to stop throwing exceptions every five seconds. Is this gonna be just the, uh, the part of the level with the horrible frame rate? Alright, Gobi, get out of here. See you in the lava world. Alright, but as I was saying, like, it's... I don't really want to read what they're saying or talk over it? Because, like, the, the gibberish voices they make are the best part. Like, they're... they're iconic. They're... I don't know. Like, I didn't... I didn't honestly think that they annoyed anyone until, um... when... when Ukulele first came out. Apparently, they got a lot of negative... Oh my god, am I gonna do that every time? I'm not sure if I'm doing that because I think it's the right button or because I'm trying to adjust the camera. And just not 
thinking to do it before crouching. But apparently a lot of people found... No, no, I'm just apparently having difficulty remembering my left from my right. Uh, apparently a lot of people, like, hated the gibberish voices in ukulele. And, I mean, ukulele is not, not, a, not the best game. It's not horrible, but it's not great either. Um, but I just... Can I not pick you up? Cool. Um... I just feel like if the gibberish voices bug you, you're playing the wrong kind of game. Like, if that's not what you wanted, why did you... Why would you pick up a game from the developers of Banjo-Kazooie? Like... You knew what you were getting. And then on the when they when they first patched it, they I think they made an option to turn them off or skip it or at least make them go by faster. Which, if there wasn't originally a way to make them go by faster, that that I could see being necessary. But I don't know. Like I, like I said, I'm actually torn about um, skipping them at all. Why do I feel compelled to check over here? There's nothing over here, is there? The draw distance is so bad, I wouldn't know if there was. Um... Totally just lost my train of thought. <laughs> I know it was about ukulele, but... Anyway. Um, oh, I heard the one up top. I really need to get some gold feathers so I can get the notes from all those Venus flytraps. And not hit that button every five seconds. If the stream frame rate looks like really choppy, like it's not, it's not the stream. It's legit running like crap right now. I'm tempted to tempted to try to like lower the resolution just for, or at least lower like the. Uh, anti-aliasing or something just for... Okay, there's no... There's nothing this way, is there? No. Um, lower the anti-aliasing just for fall or something, because... Man, this is annoying. I mean, it's probably still... I don't know, running in almost 30 frames a second, but... But very, I don't know, it's being very inconsistent and choppy. I'm not gonna count the times in the last, like, ten seconds that I almost... almost screwed up a jump, or almost twitched out of a good one. Only to somehow save it. I thought I was going to fall, like, three times now. Mm. Alright, um... Notes and a caterpillar. That's something. I knew there wouldn't be much in here, but... I swear, though, if I get to the end... of... Uh, if I get to the end of winter and I don't have all the notes, I'm not even going to know where to look. 
Beehive? Nope. I don't want to go on the roof. Is there anything back here? I'm afraid if I go on the roof... Okay, can we like... There we go. Get the camera back around here. Um, I don't think there's anything on the roof. Except for maybe in winter. But I know if I go up there, it's gonna end badly. Alright, what a surprise. You ate all of your nuts. I regret saying that. But... You know, all of his acorns were, like, in a really tiny pile before, but all the ones I collect for him are giant. I guess that's why he only needs two or three. Speaking of, like, if this this little room wasn't filled with water, actually, even though it is, I, I, I always used to assume, like, this was just, like, just, like, his stash room or something. In, in which case... Am I stealing the acorn he already had left and giving it back to him, being like, Hey, I found this for you. I don't know, like, I guess you can have it. I mean, these ones that defy physics. Sure, I can understand why he couldn't get them. Oh. Well. At least I didn't fall. Is there one on... There is one on this one. Is this like the suicide plank? What is the point of this one? I know, there, I know it's not done being built yet, but... Does it ever get anything? Alright. Oh. I landed on it. I hate doing that because the camera angle is always so bad. I fall just about every time. I say as if I, you know... Oh, there's still more. I say as if I, I play this game frequently, which I really don't. It's like... Once every, once every few years I gotta replay it because I just, I just have to. This one, this one I'm legit stealing from him and giving back. There, there's no way around that. Here, I found this in your kitchen. Now you have enough. Wow, he really does. He's not the smartest squirrel, is he? Okay. Nope! Oh, come on, come on. Of course not. Alright, alright, maybe I didn't lose too much ground. As I slip the rest of the way down. I mean, it's better than having to go back to this, to that side of the tree to start going up again. I used to be good enough at these jumps that, like, I would just use the attack move to make- oh, yeah. And that's why I don't. You know, um, let's see. Um, 
get some of the ground stuff since I'm down here anyway, but... Yeah, if, if you, um... If you try to make your jumps using the attacking move, you actually get just a little bit more, um... You get a little bit more, um, like, horizontal air distance, but then you drop like a rock. And it made me feel cool when I was younger to, like, make all of the jumps that way, just because I was that badass, you know? But then it means if you screw up even in the slightest, you gotta redo it. Nothing over there. That's it. Alright. See ya. Um, I wish there was a way to check up top here. Can I get a good angle? Not really. Maybe I'll be able to see from... from over here. I don't know if there's anything on the center log... Is my draw distance good enough? Hope so. But that would just be a really bitchy place for them to put like the last few notes, and I could totally see that happening. Still need to find another gold feather or two so I can get those ones, because I really don't think I can just brute force them. Can I? I didn't think so. It's gonna really suck if I don't find any more gold feathers, though. Whoa. Oh, so close. That looked like it might have saved me. Jury's still out, though. Like, I, I think it does. It's just not as big of a window as, say, Mario 64, where you can legit, I think, fall from any distance, and as long as you stomp at the end, you're, you're good. That was too soon. <sighs> Alright, uh... I th oh, Beehive, that works. Except for, that is the worst, most trolly place ever to put a beehive. I like how I didn't have any trouble in spring or summer trying to make it to the top here, and then fall, for whatever reason, is just kicking my ass. And there's no reason why it should. I mean, the frame rate's a little bit crap, but not so much that I should be failing this badly. You know, I just... Not to waste another attempt at getting up here, but... I never did the flower jiggy. It's just right here. It's been waiting for me this whole time.
I probably would have forgotten that and just like... Just gotten to the end like... How did I miss a Jiggy? I did all the things, where is it? On a side note... I don't know if I climbed this pile of leaves. I must have. That one doesn't have anything either. So I've heard that in the, the Xbox Live version of this game, I think what I read is that note scores aren't a thing anymore and it just tracks every note in the game so that the game always remembers the ones that you collect. Which I kind of have mixed feelings about, like, yeah, that would be a lot more convenient, but I feel like that also makes the game a lot easier. Where you don't have to um, get all the notes in one go. Which, like, I don't know, that's like... That's the part of the- that's the thing that makes this game hard. Like, nothing else... Nothing else about it is nearly as hard as trying to get all the notes in one go. That's why Rusty Bucket Bay and Click Clock Wood are difficult and annoying levels, as opposed to, you know, they could be considered kind of relaxing levels. They have- they certainly have a good aesthetic to them. But just, you know, when you're going for like, that last note, say it's like this one, and you just walk a little too far, fall, die, start over, bitch! <laughs> I don't know, it's just... There's way more caterpillars than you need to, aren't there? Um... It's just like, maybe they should have made that change optional? If, maybe it is. I don't, I don't know. I've never, I've never played that version. Like I said, I don't have an Xbox. I don't plan to have an Xbox. I just, it's never really interested me. I, I mostly like older games anyway. But it just would be nice to see, um, Banjo-Kazooie and Tui, um, remastered for some platform. I could play them on. Bird, you have like the most awkward puberty ever. He goes from being like really awkward to being super majestic looking and somehow still like about the same size. If anything, he's probably thinner when he um when he grows up the rest of the way. Please don't have notes. Mumbo token. Well, I'm gonna skip that. Um, there's still nothing in here. I'm gonna, every time I have to check it, I should just make note if there, of whether there's actually never anything in there. Like, I always expect there to be like a Jinjo or something, maybe a honeycomb, like, just something to make it worth climbing up to this point every time, and I don't think there is. Other than that winter switch I had to do. And I don't think there's anything on the, the center log. But I'm gonna have to check anyway. The Xbox version supposedly also has further draw distance. Which is something I wouldn't mind having. I bet there, that's something you could do with the cheat code in, this, in the N64 version. That's actually how I made widescreen work. Um, this emulator does support widescreen, but Banjo-Kazooie has like this weird culling that goes on, where... Um, I'm just gonna have to guess. And there's nothing. At least now I know. Um, Banjo-Kazooie does this culling if things go outside the regular game perspective area. Like, any of the... basically any of the sides that would be... Um, 
what's it called? Is it letterboxed or whatever? The where the black bars would be if you were playing it full screen or on a widescreen monitor. Those sections, like, you'll have, like, just the wall will just disappear and enemies will unload and it's a really bad time. So I'm kind of using a combination of the, um, the widescreen support in Project 64, um, mixed with some cheat codes that seem to disable that calling effect. I had one more code that actually does make it widescreen, but it's like a... It's, it's like a pixel distorted widescreen, you know, like you'd actually have. Wow. Take that, ice guys. Um, it's like a, you know, squashed pixel widescreen like you would have had in that day, and it's not an actually, like, it's not part of the actual rendered resolution, whereas this, this is actually in 1080p. Um, much like the Xbox version would be. Look, now I can go back for those notes. Except for I'm not going to. Because with one feather, I'll somehow screw it up. But I'm probably going to legit forget that the last three... Last three notes are there. I don't know. There we go. That was, that was like a revenge thing for the other ice cubes. Um... The second talking honeycomb in this game. There's nothing up here but feathers. Well, that's helpful. I mean, I get, I get that you wouldn't want to use the bee in winter because that doesn't make sense. But the fact that it's not available in spring or fall, I mean, in some ways it's, I guess it would be a cheap way to uh, get up the tree every time. But all that means is that you gotta put some kind of banjo only like attackable obstacle in the way. And then, then that prevents it. You still have to climb the tree. But they could have utilized it more. Alright. That's the only opening, isn't it? Pretty sure. Can I make this? I can make this. Am I the only one that thinks this is one of, like, the most annoying things to aim ever? Is that these snowmen? I mean, I guess, I guess technically I think they made that a boss in Banjo-Tooie. Like, the circus one? Or the, whatever, yeah, circus. I guess circus is a good enough description. Um, there's, like, the balloon guy, but no, no, never mind. That, you shoot him with eggs, don't you? You don't even- they realized how much of a pain this was, and they were just like, No, you can have a- a flying shooting segment before we give you a, uh... Another segment where you need to... Um... Uh, I don't know... Bombard things. Oh, you're- you're up here. That's where you are. That's not gonna hit. Alright. I'm like trying to get lined up with stuff and having to like loop around. I'm, I'm way too impatient to do that most of the time and like I'll I'll keep turning around in tight circles continuously failing to hit it. Well even now when I'm trying to There we go. Uh, 
Oh, that's right. I do need the bee again when I'm done. To the next to the rusty bucket bay engine room this is probably my um second most hated section of the game right here as a kid it's it's not really that hard at all like i don't know maybe it's maybe it's actually easier um in hd i never thought about that like the hard part is trying to find the escape hole again Where is the other honeycomb in this level anyway? Okay, wait. Let's get a better start than that. Um... Because I guess... You know... On a blurry CRT... It would have probably been a lot harder... To see this hole. So maybe, maybe I wasn't so bad at it as a kid. Maybe, maybe technology just wasn't there yet. But either way, the developers knew they were making it hard. They knew that. They had to have known that. They probably playtested that once, or like, you know, successfully once. And we're like, yep, good enough. Took me 300 tries, but it's doable. Call it. It's good enough. I don't know. It's not that hard, but you never make it with much air. Alright. Um, this is the last ground level, snowman. Aww. That's just annoying. Like... The way that one posi is positioned is... Oh, look, there's a Jinjo on top of the, uh, on top of Mumbo's skull. I need to get that. Oh crap, I only have seven feathers left. Mumbo, can I steal your giant, uh, now apparently frozen, red feathers here? Please? I bet I could fly twice as fast with those. Are they, like, just the same feather scaled up? I wonder. Alright, let's see. You know, I could just, like, pause the game to see what I've got. Oh yeah, right, I don't have red feathers. Cool. Maybe I won't burn through the rest of those just yet. I, so I could pause the game to see how much health I'm at, but... Um... One of the downsides of emulating it the way I am is uh, I don't have working frame buffer emulation. God, the snow is awful. Nope. Give me... Oh my god. Give me the feather. Cool. I don't have working frame buffer emulation, which means the puzzle piece, transi tra bleh, puzzle piece transitions at the start of the level don't work. And the start menu is like a garbled mess of staticky awfulness. It is like burn your eyes out levels of bad. And I just don't want to look at it because it makes me sad. Whee! 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 Whee!
Cool. I hope I didn't uh, get myself trapped here just for a mumbo token. There we go. It's like, on one hand, I understand, okay, there, there really isn't anything, well, I'll check with, uh, check with flight, there might be something on top. Either way, I don't want to, uh, risk it. Come on, camera. Um, I understand why frame buffer is so hard to emulate. And why it was such a cheap effect for them to implement on the N64, but... At the same time... It's been like... Uh, I want to say 20 years, but... Yeah, it's been over 20 years since... The N64... It's been like 25 years, I don't know. It's been 15 years that people have been emulating it for. Is there nothing here? Did I waste my time coming in here? I did waste my time coming in here. Unless I want eggs. But I really don't. Um, you know, it's like I've the entire time, like the entire like I don't know, we'll say fifteen years, I've been able to emulate this game for. Huh? No, that little uh, suicide plank never actually amounts to anything. Um. The entire time I've been able to emulate this game, that has been broken. This wouldn't actually be a problem if I had red feathers. Remember all those red feathers in Fall that I didn't collect? Oh, well, actually, oh. Not that. Not that. Might be a good time to go back for them. Is it their Fall or Summer? And it's like, like, I do own the original game, and I have an N64 that sometimes works. Actually, I think it's, I think it's resigned to the realm of, like, not working at all these days, but... Yeah, I don't have any feathers. Alright. This is just a good time to head back for that other stuff. I now understand why those um, egg and feather codes are so important. This is I've, I've actually never tried not using them. I just really didn't feel like going back and uh, visiting the sandcastle again. Um, I think summer was red feathers because even though fall has got them here. Because fall had notes around the tree. Either way, we'll go to fall first. Um... But like, even though I- even though I have a real copy of Banjo-Kazooie, N64 is just like... Okay, I hope that's the last one. I feel like I should do like a quick once around just to be sure, but <sighs> I'll wait. I'll wait and see if I'm missing any. Um Yeah, N64, PS1 as well. Like PS1 in my opinion is aged worse because it just gets really distorted. Like it doesn't have the PS1 never had the best 3D capabilities. Um anytime that any game that uses polygons has like weird distortion effects and other stuff. Like the draw distance is horrible. At least on N64, like, they might cut down the draw distance for some items and stuff. But the, the level geometry is always there. 
I'm realizing now that maybe I didn't leave quite as many red feathers as I hoped. So, uh, we'll see. Can I take out the last snowman or not? Technically, if it's just the snowman I need it for, there's no reason I couldn't leave and come back after I get the rest of the notes, but I don't want to if I can avoid it. Yeah, like, that whole generation of games, I guess technically, like, hmm. I guess technically, like, GameCube probably hasn't aged that well either, at least not in terms of resolution, but the graphics kind of make up for it. I don't know. Personally, I don't, I don't actually mind, like, the polygons at all, um, in older games like this. I, the blurry textures can be a little annoying, but not so annoying that I want some of those, like, god-awful texture packs that make things look way different than they should have. Like, I'm not, I'm not a fan of those. I, I actually, uh, before I started this run... I did look to see if I could find any sort of, like... What I want to see is I want somebody to make a texture pack that is, like, just the HUD elements from, um, the Xbox Live Arcade version. Um, and, like, nothing else. No crazy, over-sharpened, you know, objectively I think this looks good, but nobody else is gonna think... Okay, that's not objectively. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I take it back. Even after puberty, he doesn't look that good. <laughs> He's not majestic. He's still fat. With little tiny wings. Um... That's the last Jiggy. So there isn't one for killing the snowman. Is there a reason that I wasted all that time killing snowmen? Is there going to be something under one of them? Also, I'm getting real close on notes here and getting real worried that there's going to be some that I that I missed and can never find. And this room still doesn't have anything in it. Does it? No. It doesn't. Cool. So, um... I don't know where I didn't explore. It's four notes, not three, so it's probably not one of those um, Venus flytrap snappy things. Okay, wait, there is... There is the little room up there that I didn't do yet. Cool, there's a flight pad. I'll go for not having to waste feathers to get up here. And I'm gonna hold off on the snowman for now because... This is gonna be hard enough to aim. Fortunately, taking off doesn't actually require a feather. You can take off even if you don't have any red feathers.
No. Why did I do that? No. No. Oh. And it can. If I had the red feathers, I would fly back up. But I don't. <laughs> but I don't. I remember winter being kind of the easy season. Just because of the flight pads. Yeah, turns out, when you can't use them, it's a pain. <laughs> snowman too but since I don't know for sure that there's actually any reason to take him out I feel like I'd rather focus on getting in here okay you know what well actually that works Okay, actually, can I go in? Yeah, I can go in through your window. I almost missed that. There could be notes in there. What if the last four notes are right in here? Why did you save eggs for winter? I was gonna say, why, why couldn't you have saved red feathers? But you did, so that's okay. How, how did a lazy guy like him get a girlfriend? I just, I want to know that. Also, enjoy the draft. You know what it probably was? It was probably all of my hard work. You know, he probably just impressed her with his acorn collection. And claimed he got it himself. All right, honeycomb. Not seeing any notes. <sighs> it's not good. Oh, well, at least that's the last honeycomb. check the roof of uh, the little hut. I, I mean, I know I'm just thinking of, like, um, what do you call it? Um, Freeze Easy Peak. Had, like, notes on the roof? I don't think there are any here. There are! Those are the last four. I really don't want to, uh... Okay, fine. No! Like... Like, I don't know how I'm gonna get up there without... There we go. And... That's it! Alright, so, uh, um, eyeball burning warning, here comes the pause screen in all of its horribleness. Yep. Isn't that, isn't that just awful? Okay, so that's everything. Actually check that I got everything in Rusty Bucket Bay, cool. Alright. So, that's it. That's it for this level. Yep. I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to worry about that last snowman because there's nothing he could possibly be hiding that I care about. Which is 
gotta make a quick trip back into spring to turn into the bee again. And then probably do the uh, quiz game. Which, fair, fair warning about the quiz game, I... I never ever bother to... Um, to do any of the... or to, to learn any of the secrets that you're supposed to use. Um, or like the, the grunty questions, the, the ones about her. Um, let's see if I can possibly do this this time. No. Alright, third try. Come on. And we're good. So yeah, you can do that through the whole upper one. It's up the ramp here. It does absolutely nothing. It gets you absolutely nothing. They didn't put anything there in the spring. All it is is wasted time and horrible regret. <laughs> But yeah, so I never bother learning any of the stupid facts that you're supposed to be taught by her sister all throughout the castle. Oh, yeah. All throughout her lair. And I mostly just guess on those, or if I have a uh, chance card, or like joker card, whatever it is. If I have the, the tile skipping thing, I use that. And mostly just try to brute force that, because all of the other questions are really easy if you pay attention at all during the game. Boing. So hopefully that strategy works out okay. Boing. I feel like up here is like a wasted opportunity where they could have put something in the branches. Because this, this central part of the level is actually a little taller than you would expect. You'd think that there'd be like an invisible ceiling just, uh, you know, probably about here. But there's not. And I forgot how annoying it is to get down from a height when you're flying and you can't stomp. It's like the only time I might actually want extra lives is for the sheer number of times I might die due to bad RNG on the quiz. You know, I will actually take these feathers though. I guess I don't need them. Like, the next time I'll need feathers... I'll be able to open the, the recharge room for them. There's like a... at the very end of the game. Um, is it over here? No. Oh, it's this... it's... it's right here. It's the first tree. Cool, they don't do the dance. Then again, I still had to wait through it, so like, I guess doing the dance would have been better. I don't know. Alright, so... Um... I'll be right back. I'm gonna take a quick break before the quiz show. I'll be back in like three minutes. Um, as soon as I find my mouse. Okay, cool. There we go. Alright, I will be right back.
All right, there we go. I am back. Um, so I, I did actually leave it unpaused on purpose for that, just because I wanted to hear the uh, the quiz remix of the the regular layer Gruntilla's layer music. I don't know. I felt like it would be better than the pause screen music. Honestly, I think the reveal of the quiz show is like, um, one of the best moments when you're playing through this game for the first time. Like, <laughs> I don't know, just, just everything about it. It's just... So crazy and out there and... Like, unexpected up until that point. Like, it really just kind of blindsides you. And you're just like, what? <laughs> and especially like the way they do the, um... The kind of fake credits after it. Um, Alright, um... Unfortunately, I'm actually gonna have to take another, like, five minute break. Um, something's come up, but I will be... I will be right back. Um... Sorry about that. But I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you. 
Alright, and I'm back for real this time. Sorry, I just had to deal with, um, I don't know, a freak out for, for lack of a better term. I don't know. Somebody needed me to call them just for a minute and sort some things out, so... Everything is good. Let's do ourselves a quiz show. Mm. Oh, it's waiting for me to press the button. Mm. And there are three. Because I wanted to steal them to fly with. I love how they, they boo for you every time. Alright. Where's the picture from? I think that Treasure Trove Cove, and I think it's inside the, um... Inside the, uh... I don't know, the, the Hermit Crab, inside his, um, shell. Uh, let's go with this way. Anything to avoid a grunty spot. What season is there a dr really? In winter, obviously. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of water in winter. Actually, there is. Alright, uh, sure. Go. <laughs> Can I say, like, Boggy's Igloo? Igloo? Or Freeze Easy Peak? Inside the walrus cave. Uh, yeah, I guess inside the walrus cave. Close enough. It's an inside theme from Freeze Easy Peaks. I'm not sure what the point of putting an extra life behind a skull space is. Like, why? Why would I want to go for that? Uh, the frogs' names. Uh, I'm gonna say Flibbits. So, it sounded like she was saying that I would die if I got that one wrong. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> There's a reason I didn't want to go that way. I didn't think the Joker spaces were like that, but if they are, maybe I want to avoid those too. Um, that's clearly jam jars. There's no other, no other option. Jam jars. I would find it funny if that was actually one of the choices. Alright. I have no idea. Um... I'm gonna say 28, because... Nope. I was going to say, because the others sound like way too much. I know it's not 48. 50 notes for the first door. Let's go back and grab the health. I'm, I'm glad they don't make the health like... Uh, they don't make it so that you have to... Uh, Absolutely hate memory games altogether. I kind of want to know though, does this have the same layout as before? Uh, what? I feel like I already saw it, but I think that one's an egg, so. No, it was the one above it that was the egg. I just absolutely hate memory games in every way, shape, and form. I'm just not terribly good at them, which is weird. Like, I have a very visual memory overall. At least I feel like I do. So I don't know why I'd really be bad at them, but... 
There we go. Eight seconds left. Fine, timer. Seven seconds left. Close enough? Which of these is the one that's true? Okay. Uh, okay. I didn't think there were really any smaller in the fall, but the others definitely didn't seem to be true. This is a hard challenge. Clanker's <laughs> Cavern? Probably. That could be the anchor from Rusty Bucket Bay. I'm gonna go with Clanker. No, it was Rusty Bucket Bay. Okay. I thought the Hall of the Rust of Rusty Bucket Bay would have like more uh, that's freeze easy peak. Uh, would have more red. I thought it had... I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's, uh, grab that. Alright, it spells... what empties out of the... Uh, water? Uh, obviously mummies. Mummies spill out. That is clearly the answer. And that's Mumbo's skull. Hmm. Alright, um I should really save the Joker cards for the grunty spaces. Hmm. Treasure Trove Cove had a feature. What was the giant armored creature? Giant hermit crab. Ah, got an easy one. Nope, I don't want to take the health. Okay, whatever. Um. Oh. Hmm. Which way would be better to go? Ah, I'll go with this way. Rather cold. What does the huge snowman hold? A broom. A Game Boy. Obviously a Game Boy. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> that, I'm guessing, is Rusty Bucket Bay, because where else would have stairs like that? Clinker doesn't have stairs. That's Bumbo's Mountain. <laughs> that sounds like Boggy. Is my answer to every question Boggy? Probably. the big gorilla throw? Oranges. Barrels. <laughs> Obviously he throws barrels. That's nice rare. I see what you did there. Well. Remember those eggs I didn't want to collect? I, mean, I guess it was mostly feathers I didn't want to collect, but... Maybe I should have uh, come in here with more stuff, because, uh... You know, I'm probably being dumb. I can probably run up and hit them. 
you can't normally. Like, the regular versions of these guys, you can't. Actually, maybe that means I should save... Yeah, I should probably just save my eggs for the little versions. You know, I just realized... None of these guys are actually TNT. Right? Like... They're the same model and they do the same jumping, but they don't... They don't actually explode. I don't think I ever realized that before. Oh, oh crap, I forgot there was a time limit. Awesome. I did really well with that. Anything but this. Please, anything but this. Blue, yellow, purple, blue, light blue, purple, blue. I'm not gonna get that. Alright. Blue, yellow, blue, no. Wait. Is it still... Okay. I thought it reset. Apparently it doesn't. Light blue, uh... Was it yellow again? Was it blue again? Was it purple again? <sighs> really didn't think I'd get caught up on those kinds of things. Uh, wait. No, I... I skipped that. That's right. That's why I can go through that one. time it can be something that doesn't suck? Oh, not this again. Well. I failed. Blue, purple, light purple, light blue, yellow, blue. Purple. Black purple, um... No. Was it light blue? And then yellow. And then what? Purple blue? I don't know. Blue purple? Nope. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and call that another form of memory game. Because it really is. How many X's? Oh, uh... I'm gonna go with five. No, it was six. Uh... Leaking Bucket's name. Leaky, I think. Alright. Double Gloop Swamp. I'm just going to try to blitz through it this time, because, uh... Tower in which they hide. On Mumbo's Mountain, what's inside? Termites! Freeze easy peek. This goes by a lot quicker when you're just skipping things. No, it's got to be Gobi's Valley. Uh, there we go. Currently, I want to do a time challenge. Oh, well, that's an okay time challenge. Backwards, okay. I almost didn't read that, too. 
They're like, Psh, I know what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't hit the K yet, did I? Where's the K? Is it over here too? It is over here. Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, yeah, okay. I can spell. N. Where's the N? Ah. Uh, I ran out of time. Frick. You know, I really thought this was going to be easy. Like, the questions about the game... I can get done, like, super easy. Okay, this does... This does change, doesn't it? Maybe not. Is this a note? Okay, no, it doesn't change. I just suck that badly at memory. No, ah, uh, it's this one. I just didn't get it lined up. Uh, don't remember where the other egg was. Honeycomb. This is either honeycomb or egg. It's egg. And then honeycomb is right next to it. All right. Jinjo and Jinjo. And the last two just have to be the last two. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, try to get through one of these. Just because. Uh, go with the first one. Nope. Sometimes these are easy to guess. Only color I choose. Um, or maybe not. Maybe this is a really bad idea. Uh, Alright, not doing it. Give up. I give up. Going this way. Um. Yeah, I guess. I guess technically a smaller egg is inside of the egg. All right. Oh, this again. All right. So we're not gonna go with the egg method. That's for sure. I guess I just thought eggs... I needed to use eggs for this boss because of... Um, because of the TNT boxes. I really, really did think I was just going to breeze through this. What the heck? Hermit crab. That's Nap Nuts house. Click clock wood. just die on this square because uh, 
It's really broomstick racing? Like, that just seems like the obvious one. Hey, I got one. The gorilla is Conga. This again? Okay. Well, that's not good. die again on the stupid crate boss. He didn't actually give me any trouble when I did Rusty Bucket Bay, but I killed him with eggs. Like, I actually ran out of eggs and just used uh, invincibility. Because I, I legit thought that the crates exploded. Uh, anchors. Uh, Mumbo's Mountain. I think that's the Ant Hill. Yeah, that, that's totally the Ant Hill. Okay. Good thing about these. Is if you brute force them enough, you will at least learn them. You know, I kind of wished I had read those. Let's see. Um, I think P <laughs> Pick a Pock Peck would have been the, the best choice, obviously. Do I even have any more uh, feathers? I've got a few. Last one, come on. There we go. Mm, okay. I answer this one just to get to the health. He's not even there. But the banjo spaces are the easiest. These ones are the second easiest. That's Gobi's Valley. level were we talking about? Okay. I, I sped through that one too much. That's an egg. Does this say musical goats? It did say musical goats. Where were the musical goats? Come on, I want some musical goats. Let's see. Oh, fuck. Um. Mm. No. Great. I want to say that I've, I've seen that there's apparently a glitch you can do to make it so that you don't die on the death squares. You still... Um, you still can't continue the quiz. But you can, like, leave and come back without losing a life. It's like something about, um... 
I think it's about how you angle yourself. Like, sometimes you can make it so that when you get knocked back, you, you still land on the board. Alright, that's Bubble Gloop Swamp. As much as I hate the witch spaces at this point... Well, at least I'll only answer next time. Um, it's not a Harry Potter reference, which I thought the 2000 was gonna be. Let's go with Rough Rider. Here we go. I feel like they picked the most unfunny answers for those. Oh, crap. I don't know. Ten? Cool. Like, they picked the unfunny answers, and I think they did that to make it... So what is this? Um, uh, that one? Oh, I got it wrong. I meant to hit this one. It would have been wrong anyway, but... And that's an egg. Okay. You'd think after doing this, like, four times, I would start to have an idea of where things were. That's an egg. And the other egg should be here. Feather... I don't know. Here? Nope. That's Banjo. Is feather here? No, nope, that's Mumbo. Well, we can do Mumbo. Jinjo is always right next to itself. Uh, Banjo was... what? Was it that one? No, that's a no. Banjo is here. Crap. That translates into actual damage for the quiz, too, which is annoying. Two seconds. Uh, let's see. Come on. That's Click Clockwood. a hand who has a jigsaw in the sand. Grabba! Because, uh, yeah, reasons. On the ground, which makes this dumb sound. That's a music note. It's a musical goat! Clearly. Ah! That's a sheep. Damn it. Alright, uh, death square. Oh no. Yay! I don't get to die. I don't I don't get to die. I don't have to die this time. It's the only color. Um, I'm gonna go with dung brown this time. No, so it's the ghastly gray. Be safe and free from harm. What we'll have I as a lucky charm? Um, shrunken head. No. Big Naka, really? Um, let's go with Ripper. No. Uh. Toothpaste. Um, moldy cheese. There we go. I always also think that like they're gonna at least sound slightly familiar, and they never do. Crocodiles. Yumbles and grumbles. Yumblies and grumblies, I think. There we go. <sighs> Pyramid. Who's not included? Well, I've only done that about a billion times. I'm gonna say you're not included. Um, Mad Monster Mansion. May have played this game too much if I can recognize that one. I love how, uh. Oh, hang on. Okay, Mumbo's Mom again. I love how I just got a notification that somebody's stream started and they named the stream Come Get Learned. 
to be fair, they, uh... They do a fair amount of, uh... I don't know. Is it the eagle? I hope it's the eagle. Well, the other... It's not Kazooie and the other one's made up, so... Here we go. Um, they do a, a fair amount of, uh... Education on their channel, I guess. I say education, I don't mean like school education. They educate people on... Um... Well, this is gonna suck. On more political issues, I guess would be a good way to put it. That was luck. That was pure luck. Absolutely pure luck and nothing else. Alright. It's like... Either way, I've got to go through at least three death spaces. If I go this way, they're more spaced out, but does it really matter? Okay, cool. This'll be easy. Bubble Gloop Swamp. In the middle, which tall object solves the riddle? Uh, I'm gonna say it's Juju is his name. I don't even remember it having a name, but it's gotta have a name because everything else has a name, right? On my screen. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. We got three easy ones. Uh, Clanker's Cavern. I hope it's Clanker's Cavern. I can't imagine that. That doesn't look like Rusty Bucket Bay. I'm gonna go with Clanker. Alright, cool. Because uh, who would ever go through two death spaces to get an extra life? I feel like it's just there as filler. I mean, I guess. Um. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what I was looking at there. Um, it doesn't have a hat. Which move was learned, you stupid pair? Um... Talon Trot. Alright. Uh, we'll go with Smelly Socks. Yay! Alright, so moment of truth. This question could be anything, and... I will probably fail miserably at it, but, uh, you know. No, and can you tell what on earth? Oh no, okay, um... I'm gonna go with boils. Nope. All the way here, too. Ha! Ah, I managed to flap. Does that count? So close. I don't remember this being so hard, either. Cellar isn't there. Ginger, red feathers, jigsaw, peace. Uh, red feathers. Come on. Rusty Bucket Bay again. Like, it's really just the Gruntilda questions that are bad. Lucky Charm. Um, it wasn't Shrunky Head. Is it a Dragon's Foot? No, it is the gloogie filled hanky. Okay. Uh, what's the only color? Well, we've wheeled it down to gray. Ghastly gray. Three. 
three. All right, don't be something sucky. Please don't be something sucky. This again, okay, well. I mean, it's, it's okay. Nope. That one, that one. You can kill that guy with gold feathers. Just like any of the invulnerable enemies in the game, you can kill them with gold feathers. There's nothing that's truly invulnerable that I can think of. But it just seems like it would be a waste of time and feathers to bother with it. Okay, 26 seconds, 25 seconds. That's pretty good, right? Better than last time. By, like, 20 seconds. Um, I think it's Click Clock Wood. I think it's the, um, Beaver's Place. Cool. Um, Egg. Treasure Trove Cove. Um, Pirate Ship Hold, I guess? No, I have no idea what that is called. None whatsoever. Oh, obviously it's a Blinjo, or a Winjo. Blinjo! Choom, choom, choom. Yeah, like, oh, I didn't, I shouldn't have grabbed that. It's like instinctual to just grab it anyway. Um, lucky charm. Well, uh, I guess we know what that is now. Lovely. Clanker's Cavern. How many ways to get in the whale? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, more than four. Sure. I'm just trying to hurry through to get to that last square. That's uh, Mad Monster Mansion. Smiley face, where is that? Gobi's Valley. Easy peek. Go with Walrus again. I like how some of the characters have names and others don't. Um, for the quiz, I mean, like all the characters, every unique character in this game has a name. Oh no, not you. <sighs> This game is so much RNG. Crap. I'm gonna pretend I didn't just fail miserably at that. No! Come on, come on. Ugh, shit. That's cool. Thanks for just reinforcing how much I hate that game. And then this shit again.
trying to jump at them as best I can. But I feel like some of their trajectories are a little harder to... Shit, I don't have any. Yeah, like, where would I have gotten gold feathers before now? I don't know. Like, obviously, I wouldn't have gotten any. That doesn't make sense. But I still... Thought I must have gotten some from now, from before now. It's been so long. Uh, yeah, that's the only health available to me. Okay, well, if I get it wrong this time, there was no intro that time. It was just expected uh, that you remember it. Wow, no, that's not it. Uh. Jeez, it's not like it's written on the wall or anything. Like, you know, can you make it harder? <laughs> can you make it easier, rather? Oh. Where's the N? Where's the N? Right there. I shouldn't have said that thing about it making it harder. Alright, what do you got for me? Cactus, cactus can sell a prize. That is the honeycomb. A piece of sponge cake! It is definitely a piece of sponge cake. Alright, uh... Character has this dumb voice. Tip-top! Tip-top has that voice! Come on, two down. What's the third gonna be? Tell me now. Tracks made up. Okay, bubble group swamp. Yeah, so it's the bottles one. That's the one I guessed it last time because I didn't friggin' read it. Come on. We can do this. Oh, um. Well, okay then. I'm gonna say Treasure Trove Cove, because I think it's on top of the ship. That is the only thing I can think of. Uh -huh. There's a bolt! Alright. Bullshit, stupid, grunty question. Uh, we figured out that was a Rough Rider. Just through trial and error. And now, the moment of truth. What kind of question will it be? Oh, I hate when it's a grunty question. Um, <sighs> yep. Can't I get like a regular question at any on the last square at any point? Does it have to be a grunty question every time? I'm getting really sick of this by now. That yeah, treasure trove cove again. Nope. Don't get that yet. I always want to grab the health. Uh... What award did I always win? I'm gonna say Sweatiest Socks? Was it Biggest Butt? I can't remember. I, I thought I got that one wrong last time. Favorite magazine. Um, I know I got that one wrong. Um, let's go with Warty Girls. No, it's, it's Butts. I mean, it just, it just sounds wrong. Okay, that one was the Moldy Cheese. That's easy, at least. Um... <laughs> 78? They all sound too many. Five or six? Uh... Let me go with five. Nope. Apparently now we're just gonna ask me all the questions I don't know. 
Eggs. Which actually, since it's a fridge, it kind of makes sense. Alright, stupid time to challenge. These again. There we go. Fastest time, yeah. Mm. That's Rusty Bucket Bay. And that's a knife. A an object which none of the characters tried to stab me with. Um... I mean, there's three. But... Uh, there's three in it, but... It, there's a family of four. It's in the eye of Mambo's... Um... In what level? Did you say what level? She probably said what level. Uh, that's extra honeycomb. Extra money! Yes, it's extra money. Um... What in the water chomps your feet? Piranha fish. Electric toasters. Electric toasters. That would be... That's a good answer. Uh... No, it was, it was the broomstick, wasn't it? Uh... Lucky charm. That one's loogie. Cool. Uh, let me see. That's Ban that's Mumbo's Mountain. I really just don't care till I get to the final square. Ah, that's Boggy again. <laughs> Soggy. It I, I don't think Peggy is a good name. I mean, you know, maybe his name's Peggy. It'd be like that, uh... <sighs> Character's this dumb voice. Is that your sister? Yep. Yeah. Um... Yeah, maybe it's Peggy. It could be like that insurance commercial or whatever it is. I don't remember. Or it's like, this is Peggy. Alright, uh... What challenge is it go- uh... Friggin' name again. Should be getting real good at the letter placement now, at least. No. There we go. This is just getting really repetitive. Death squares. The hand who has... What did he play? An organ. Sounds a lot creepier that way. Let's see. A specimen in its pot. It's by my bed, what have I got? Uh... Sh I'm gonna say an eyeball flower. Cool. She let me live. Okay. Got a good one for that. That's uh, Mad Monster Mansion. Double Gloop Swamp. Three, one, two, one, one, one.
cool. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick break before doing this square. Oh god, that's really awful looking. Alright, well... Let's leave the quiz music going, right? Yeah, I like that idea. I will be right back, and hopefully this is an easy question, because otherwise we're gonna go around again. But if I get it right, there won't be a break throughout the entire cutscene, so I figure right now is a better time. Be right back. All right, so moment of truth. What question awaits us? Is it going to be a bullshit grunty question that I can't answer and then we have to do this all again? Let's find out. Hmm. It's going to be rancid milk or engine oil. Um I'm gonna say rancid milk. It's engine oil. It would have been too easy, right? I think it would have been too easy, you know, if I just won it right there. Okay, um, I'm gonna say four. No, five. It's counting me, isn't it? Total seven isn't seen. They're all even. It's a trick question, isn't it? She's including me. Okay, that's uh, Nabnut's house. Clock wood. Like, did I do Biggest Butt? It is Biggest Butt, okay. 
So I got that wrong for no reason last time. Um, on top of a tree, under the pier at the start, inside a giant treasure chest. I don't think there's any on top of a tree. I'm wrong. Okay. Shit, let's go. In its name, it doesn't float. Uh, what? Uh, the Salty Hippo? I don't know. I really don't know the name of it. Alright. No, not this. Can I just, like, get this wrong and go back? Blue, purple, 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 purple. Yellow, blue. Hey, maybe I got this. Blue. Purple. 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 I should probably call that pink. It'd be a lot easier to remember. Yellow. Blue. The only time I will ever do that successfully. Ah. I swear, I promise I will never get it right again. That was Clanker's Cavern. Bye, guys. I am sinking. You will never see me again. Really need to get a better chair. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Once he got at his third location. Um, crap. Uh, I guess it must be an extra honeycomb? No, it's not. No, it is. Okay. I was going to say, I don't really remember. Uh, let's see. That's Boggy's house. When all the kids are sad. Alright, Death Square, what you got for me? Maybe a jinx. How many carpets in Gobi's f Oh, crap. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm gonna go with six. No, it was five. That's great. Really, really, really hate those Death Squares. Usually because they got grunty questions, not because they got questions that I blatantly fail. Uh... That one doesn't even feel like it's a game-worthy question. Of course it's somewhere. Bubble Gloop Swamp. If anyone's watching the VOD of this, just just skip ahead. Um Ew, Streaky Brown. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Streaky Brown. No, the developers wouldn't do that, would they? They would, but, you know. Favorite magazine, uh, we figured that is Warty Girls Weekly. No, it's not. Okay, I guess I remember wrong. Stupid Grungy School, what was my name at Witch's School? Uh, Eldrin Butt. No. I hate these squares. I swear, these questions haven't come up before. The, the news one has. So, um, right, that's right. I determined that it's big butts and guts because... No, it's... I've tried all of the options. What else could it be? Ah. Uh, uh, baboon. Okay, cool. I really hate those squares. Flash. How many huts were there to smash? Six, because when I said five, it was wrong. No, oh, not you. I hate this minigame, I hate this minigame, I hate this minigame. 
No. It has like the worst RNG ever. It legit screws you over every time, whether you wear the shoes or whatever you do. I'm getting really sick of this one, but at least at this point, um, at this point I don't really have an excuse to get things wrong, but apparently I still will. But yeah, if you're watching this after the fact, and you don't skip ahead to the point where I'm done with the quiz, what is wrong with you? I mean, hell, I want to skip to the point where I'm done with the quiz. That is Treasure Trove Cove. Okay, like, next time I have to do this, I'm legit gonna print out a list of all the answers to her questions. Feature. Just the armor feature. Yeah. All the answers to the grunty questions, and then I won't have to deal with those. Gee. Not like I haven't seen him recently. Alright, uh Piranhas! Trying to still have energy at this, but it's getting really old. Favorite drink? Uh, it wasn't the milkshake. Maybe the smoothie. Nope. Uh, puke. No, nope. I'm pretty sure it wasn't boils either. Nah, enjoyable sport. Uh. Was it boomstick racing? Yeah. The obvious one. Uh... Bloop? I really didn't get the question, I just knew one of them was a character and one of them wasn't. Or the other two weren't, whatever. Okay, freeze easy peek. Mumbo's Mountain? Looks like Mumbo's Mountain. That's Tootie. Banjo the Stupid Fat Bear. I like how she had to put that on there. Uh, Alright. Kakapo needs the king. What's the squirrel doing in spring? Uh, he's <laughs> he's eating his nuts. That is one flexible squirrel. Uh, all right. I'm getting good at this at least. Until I, you know, go the wrong way, and then that's gonna screw me up for the rest of it. All the death questions. Peak is rather cold. Where does the huge stone hold? A broom! A Game Boy. Next, let's not make your choice. Characterize the stone voice. Shit! Shit! I didn't, uh... Okay, it's gonna be tipped up, because... I didn't mean to skip it entirely. 
How many turtles did you find? Oh god, um... Uh, there's like... Eight. Cool. The big turtle counts, obviously. See the picture on the yeah. This is just a regular one, why am I scared? Ah, uh, that's the beehive and click-clockwood. Um. Obviously it would get lost, Banjo. Alright, what's this one gonna be? Do you look, stop that still? Hmm. Okay, we discovered it wasn't streaky brown, how about sweaty yellow? There we go. Alright, moment of truth. Guess this right or you may lose. Uh, hey! Hey, we got this one! Cool! It is ghastly gray. And we are done with the quiz! About fucking time. All the credits you'll now endure. <laughs> Which prize shall we take? <laughs> That's what I said! Hey, Greg Miles. It's funny, I actually know a lot of the team members now. Um, from ukulele development stuff. Chief Keyboard Tapper. Chris Sutherland. Deputy Keyboard Tapper. I don't know you. Okay. Oh. Crap. Did I skip the... No. Okay. Oh, it's just... I can go to the next one. Cool. I thought I'd skip them all, which, you know... So I really can't do anything to skip these, which, uh, you know... It's a little annoying, at least. Though I, I do love the scene at the end where, um... Other oh, keyboard tapping. Um... The scene at the end where the, where Tootie's like, Hey guys, the witch is still up there! Steve Mails! Cartoony bits and more scribbling. <laughs> Scene Crayoner. Steve Hurst. More sketching. <laughs> Other doodling. How many more characters are there? Big noisemaker. Grant Kirkhope. Ha! <laughs> that sounds about right. I guess we still have a few more, uh... A few more levels worth of characters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Turns out the button pushing was just kind of a placebo effect. I can't actually do anything to skip it at all. that bad when it was just one person listed for each one. Can't we save most of these for, like, the real credits? No, I guess, I guess then we'd break the illusion if we didn't go through every character. Paper pushers! <laughs> Paper pushers are important, obviously. Strange noisemakers. I guess they're the sound effects people? Come on. Two more levels to go. Counting. Moving and shaking. Are we done now? No, oh, we still got. Uh... Nab not gets the copyright. Apparently. Cool. Are we done now? There we go. There we go. I mean, it's all kind of like... Nice touches. It's all fun stuff. And then they have the barbecue. I forgot about the barbecue. And then like, the, the friggin' goldfish is on the grill. I'm just like... Just, just... Getting a tan, I guess. I don't know. and finish it. <laughs> I mean, like, the fake cre the credit fake-out is fun. Like, I just wish I could skip it. But do I really wish that? I don't know. It's mostly for, like, stream sake that I'd want to skip it. But... Um... I mean, it's fun. I feel like these cauldrons just get like a little bit lazier every time for how much, uh, how much space they actually skip. At some point I need to go back to Clanker's Cavern and get the four notes I somehow missed. Oh, whoops. Oh my god, that is like freaking out. There's nothing actually over in the. the like youth transfer machine room, right? I think this is just here for scenery. It's cool that you can go there, though, that it was featured in a cutscene and it actually exists in the game. Alright. Open me some doors. It's 
giant items that actually have polygons. Like, holy crap, they're not sprites. I don't know. Also, it is a pretty cool looking egg, considering. I suppose this is a good would be a good time to go back and get the uh, double feathers and eggs and stuff. But first, let's get a big health bar. Is this really like? There's just two that aren't used at all. I mean, I guess it would be awkward to throw them in here, but there was nowhere else we could have just used an extra jiggy along the way. All right, so I guess first, first I'm getting the extra egg and the eggs and feathers and stuff. Then I'm gonna go do planker. If I had planned ahead for this, I'd probably also do the stop and swap codes. Um, maybe I can do those in between next stream. Like I'll, I'll enter all the codes and then. Just, um, just do the actual going to every level and getting them. Not like there's one in Clanker's Cavern anyway, so still do that today. Um, there we go. But, for the most part, all that's left is the final battle. I could do it now. I could, but, you know, where would my 100% completion be then? Like, I've got 99% of the game done. I might as well, might as well finish it. And I really didn't want this to be the last Banjo stream, so... I didn't want to do the Witch this time. We'll see, but... Huh. If you stomp there, you just fall forever. Which is weird. Like, it makes- it, it sounds like you fall forever, like it doesn't have a, uh, a bottom to it. But there's other- other places that you can do that same thing, and you will hear your stomp land before you actually enter the level or the warp point or whatever. I guess they're not... I don't think there are any other level entrances that you can do that to. I must just be thinking of, like, random, um, holes that bring you to other areas and stuff. It's always weird the way the cutscenes get stuck at the very end. I mentioned last time the... The engine room in Rusty Bucket Bay screwed me up like the first time I did it as a kid because the cutscene freezes at the end, which makes it look like, um, makes it look like you have successfully, um, stopped the propellers after only hitting one switch instead of both of them. there when it shows the sandcastle draining it stops the uh, animation stops apparently feathers is a harder word to spell because I can't seem to talk at the same time cool um, the animation stops before it's actually down all the way which kind of makes you think there's something else you need to do I don't know I'm sure it was just a weird limitation on the way they did the cutscenes. That didn't count. Um, 
You know, that took very little time. Why didn't, I, why didn't I ever bother with it? Somehow I thought that would take a lot longer. I don't know. But I'll say about doing the stop and swap stuff for next time. Because I just have fun collecting that stuff, even if it doesn't... Even if it doesn't actually do anything in the final game. Or, I mean, you know, with the final way they released Banjo-Tooie. Um... It's still kind of neat collectibles, I don't know. Completely unnecessary, but... I'm not gonna take the time right now to look up those codes and type them all in, because that would be a really long and annoying process. So instead, let's see if we can blitz out the last four notes in Clanker's Cavern as quickly as doing that sandcastle. It's always annoying when you have to, like, go back for notes. Um, because, like, you've already explored everything. Like, there's no... I don't know, you have to... Everything you do is retreading old ground. And in my opinion, anyway, it's harder to remember where you've gone and where you haven't once you've cleared the whole level. There aren't actually any notes that way. That's why I always like to do it in one go, and I really have no idea how I screwed this one up. Like... I left this level willingly. Okay, wait. I do want to check. There might be some up there. On the, the right side pipe. But I left this level willingly when I was done with it. Yeah, there aren't any. And I thought for sure I had them all. Like, I never, I never bothered to, like, double-check, because how could I not have them all? Like, I went out of my way to try to find the, uh, final honeycomb piece? I say I went out of my way, really it was going, where the fuck could that possibly be? And then looking over in a random direction and being like, oh yeah, it's right there. Felt like more of a process, though. Clearly. Alright, I'll save Clanker for the end. I know there's not much chance of dying, but I'll do the underwater stuff first anyway, just to, uh... Anything in there? Just eggs. I know there's notes down here. Where's the little fish? Come on, fish. Come on, camera. Come on, two things work together. Yeah, I really need to just catch up with him. I wonder if that's how I did it. No, I'm pretty sure that I went back around for all the notes. Now I kind of want to check and make sure I got all the jiggies, too, and everything else. Like, what if I just left this level horribly uncompleted? Are you, are you flying? Or flying? Are you swimming through the key? Why are you swimming through the key? I hated this level so much as a kid that... Alright, Jinjo, I'll grab you anyway. Um... Like, I legit never found the, uh, invincibility move until way later in the game, because I could never swim down here and do the stupid key. Alright, that looks like all the notes.
All right, so just a quick warning. You may want to look away. Disaster of a eyesore start menu screen coming up. It's awful. This is what the start menu looks like without frame buffer emulation. It's not pretty. We do have everything else here. It's just the four notes. So... Check all the underwater stuff first, and, you know, that's just gold feathers. I'll grab them anyway, in case for some reason I see them later and think that they are notes. Um, we'll go up and then down. That didn't really save me any, uh, time. <sighs> Let's see, that's a Jinjo. Okay, camera? Fine. Look in the wall. Whatever. Nope. Up. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Yeah, you know, I fully- I fully intended to... How did I... Wow, I got really turned around there, didn't I? I thought I was on the opposite side. Crap. Okay, so... Yeah, that's the loop one I did right there. Hmm. Um, so I fully intended to go back and collect the other notes off-stream, and just, like, be like, Oh yeah, you know, I went back and grabbed them, whatever. Um... But, I'm just not really ready to be done yet, and uh, don't feel like doing the final battle until next time, so seemed like a good time filler. Not the most exciting thing, but, you know. Anyone need health? Plenty of health going to go around. Alright, that is it for notes here, though. That's all I care about. <sighs> wow, that stuff was just flat out unloaded, wasn't it? Alright, I did those ones. One of these is going to be the really long... I think it's this one. A really long tube that just leads to a Jinjo, I think. It might be a Jiggy. Not that I haven't already gotten it, but... Yep, yeah, it was just a Jiggy. I was gonna say, if it's a Jinjo, that would be like the worst possible place to collect your final Jinjo. Like, spawn the Jiggy right there, and then... Better hope you have enough air! I mean, wouldn't really add that much more time, but... It'd be a pain. Somehow. Either way. I don't know. Alright. There are notes in here. There's more than four, though, so... So it wasn't these ones that I missed. Should really be on the lookout for a, uh, some kind of conspicuous four notes. Wherever the obvious ones to miss would be. Alright, so I'll go around the room and then I'll do inside planker. Really shouldn't take that long at all. The only thing... In this pipe, there's nothing even on it. The only thing in it was a honeycomb. Is there anything 
Oh, yeah, the freaking pole's right there. I'm just blind. Alright, let's see. Jinjo. That's where the other honeycomb is, I think? Either way, there's nothing there now. Hey, don't you dive while I'm collecting notes. That's rude. these ones last time. I mean, it's probably just gonna be like one of the side rooms in Clanker. Maybe there was a note in like all four corners and I just never swam down to the bottom of it or something. Something really dumb. I'd like to know, but well, unless I go back and like... Okay, nothing that way. Unless I go back and, like, painstakingly rewatch that entire stream trying to find where I didn't go, which is probably, it's honestly not too high on my, I don't know, would be agenda. those. I definitely got those, though. Even if there's four of them, I definitely got them because there's, like, a G up there or something. Or at least there would be. There's not anymore, but... I mean, that would... that would conveniently make up the four, but then whatever Jiggy or whatever was up here would still be there. So that's not it. Standing on your eyeball, buddy. You don't care. You're a giant mechanical shark. Alright, I'm not gonna bother with the teeth because... Come on. There's no notes on the teeth. Alright, do I want to go that way or this way? I think they both kind of lead the same way. Oh, come on. Let me walk through. I don't want to waste gold feathers for this. Can I... That's not what I meant to do. I just wanted to see if I could bombard it and take it out because those little tentacle things are weird. I feel like they got a lot of mileage out of them, though. I mean, they're... Come on. <sighs> they're used in this level. They're used in Mad Monster Mansion. They're, like, sometimes they're, like, in here, they're, like, fleshy tendrils, but... Um, in other levels, they're vines. They are... Um... I guess, actually, I guess they're all vines. They're just different types of vines. Like sometimes they're they're creepy, spooky vines, and other times they're regular, non-spooky vines. Okay, so maybe they don't get a lot of mileage, but... Three, four, that's five. You know what? Let's go ahead and go through here. I'm gonna go back in the top... Just to confirm that there's no room on the opposite side. 
if I just don't go through the blades. Actually, I, th I think it is. I think it's the tooth room. Something like that. But then the tooth room is actually just part of the room I was just in with the tendrils, so... Maybe I somehow just, like, left four notes in this room. That, that could be, right? Um... That would be really dumb if I did that. Okay. And there's the room where you learn invincibility. I am still gonna try to take this thing out. Nope. Didn't even hit. Okay, um... Are these like the final ten notes? Three... Four... Five... Six. No! No, I'm still missing four! Okay, so... Wherever the final four notes are, I think it's safe to say those are the ones I missed to begin with. I mean, there's nothing, like, under the water here, right? And I did both sides. Um... So then it's not inside Planker. You know what? Here. You don't have bees. I'll just- I'll take some honey. Not like I don't have enough, but, you know, I'll take some more. Um... So, where is left? Was there like another... Was there a pipe down here that I missed? Either on the ground or like a... Okay, wait. No, that's just... That's Clanker's front, so that goes back out. Found them! And I know, I'm absolutely sure I did not get those before, because I don't even think I used this shock jump pad. I remember getting the honeycomb that's inside the- in the underside of this pipe, but, like, is this like a widescreen issue? Like, the fact that I saw that and I just assumed there was nothing there, but if this was full screen, I would have panned the camera to look over. But I didn't, because I thought I could see everything I needed to see. Okay, so I totally thought that there was another section with little jumpy holes like this. Not just the ones on the other side. But there we go. That's what it was. <sighs> okay, so it's done. This level is done. Um... Okay, uh, menu screen warning. Three, two, one. Oh, look at it, it's awful. Um, game totals. That should be it. Should be everything. Except the stop and swap stuff. So, that's gonna be it for this time. Just cause that seems like a good, as good a stopping point as any. Um, next time I will... Hopefully, remember to get those stop and swap codes entered before I start streaming, and then um, just to just to kind of add some length to it, we'll we'll do the stop and swap stuff, and then we'll do the final battle. Hopefully, the final battle doesn't take me more than one try. I mean, with the double health bar, it really shouldn't. It's it's a long fight, but double health is also a lot of health, so you know. Um, yeah. I guess that's it for now.
I will see you next time, and we'll take out that witch. After that, I don't know. I might move on to Super Metroid like my original plan. I don't... I haven't really thought about anything before that. Banjo-Kazooie was supposed to take a lot longer, but of course, you know, it's, it's a short game when you've done it more than once. Anyway, take care. See you later.